the hospice philosophy is all-encompassing. Suffering is not just physical, but suffering is emotional, psychological, financial, social. And what hospice delivers is whole person, whole family care that addresses all of those domains. The Merrimack Valley Hospice House offers a unique opportunity for families to bond at end of life, away from the pressures you would experience at either home or in a nursing home. There was immediately this feeling of serenity and peace and calm and quiet and caring. Every hour we spent here was 100% peace because we worried about nothing. We had, you know, quality time for as long as we possibly could have thanks to being here. Family members can feel that they're getting the best care from people that, in my opinion, are angels. Being able to help people be peaceful and comfortable in the last hours. And get through the days. There's something about the feel you get when you walk through that door. And as soon as I walked through that lobby, I knew this is where I needed to be. When this piece of land came available to build this house, um, it was almost like uh, just a blessing. I mean, it was the right piece of land. It was a very serene, uh, well-wooded spot. Everything for that patient was a, a 10. You couldn't find anything better. What amazed me is the planning and the architecture of this whole facility. They didn't leave anything out. The amenities were much more than I ever thought they were. The actual size of the suite is, is a knockout. It's just big enough to be wonderful. Every time they got to see her in a, in a safe, uncompromised situation without a lot of people hovering over and coming in and out the front door, they would smile. They could walk her over here to the fish pond in the wheelchair and they had a happy time doing that. Couldn't do things like that in the house. It's a gift that keeps on giving. I feel like, you know, feeling that she was cared for so well in such a dignified, gracious manner, that our family was supported, that we had, you know, quality time for as long as we possibly could have thanks to being here. I think it's very important to acknowledge these are sad things that are happening to our patients and families um, without acknowledging that um, we can't then go on to help them um, write a better ending. You almost have to go through some of what we went through, I guess, to appreciate uh, and accept the reality that you know, all you can really do is be there. We actually got to be a couple and that um, I didn't have to be Steve's caretaker. Uh, his medicines were given to him, his physical uh, exams were done, and I could just be Steve's wife. In hospice, the role of the clinicians is to exquisitely manage pain and other symptoms. Because without well-controlled symptoms, well-controlled pain, our patients and their families can't do the truly important work of dying, um, which is always based in relationship. It removed all the fear, I would say, 100% of it. In our surrounding community, there are hundreds of patients who are eligible and need hospice services. And a fraction of those people are going to need very sophisticated, high-level care. 14 beds is, is a very small number. I honestly am here to give back because I got so much from being here and it was such a positive experience given the circumstance of a spouse dying. Uh, it made what is a, a trauma into a uh, experience which you can reflect back and feel good about. We essentially need more beds so that we can offer this type of setting um, that is home-like that is supportive of the greater work of hospice. We could expand easily and provide more services. Um, at this point in time, we always have a waiting list for people who need and deserve um, this level of care in a setting um, that supports. Most people, when they think of a hospice house, they think of it being a very sad place. I don't think of that when I think of this hospice house. There's always some good that comes out of it. More of the memories that I conjure up are sitting here holding her hand at the bedside when there was nothing to worry about. The people that have not been here to experience it don't realize what an asset this is to the community and I think it's a matter of visiting and seeing um, and, and talking to the people here and you really get a sense for 
the kind of care someone, your loved one, is going to get when they need it the most. I wish everyone knew about it because I think everyone knows about and talks about dying at home as the gold standard or what you should try to strive for. I, I think it should be being in a place like this. You, as a supporter of the Merrimack Valley Hospice House, have a unique opportunity at this particular time to make a difference in thousands of families' lives going forward. We appreciate your support and hope you will continue to join us on this compassionate journey.